It's all about flying a person into space, having the most incredible, inspirational flight for one person that you can ever imagine. I see the men working here, I see the women working here. Every day, that's the joy. Well, Peter and I are very different people. Could you please be a little bit silent? Because I'm going to have to repeat this whole fucking thing because there's things happening up there. I'm not a very patient person. He might also, once in a while, be extremely annoying. But I guess I am as well. I would rather have that we, once in a while, disagrees a lot, because what we gain from each other is much more. The worst disaster that could happen here is not the rocket exploding. We can manage that. The worst disaster is our cooperation failing. If we can cooperate, we can go everywhere in the universe. If we start to fight over the power, over, the, over our roles, over that sort of thing, we can go nowhere. I tend to say we can either win as a team or lose as individuals. About a week ago, Christian decided not to continue this collaboration. So he stopped, and this, this threw our organization into a crisis. I failed to continue my collaboration with Christian. This is endangering the very life of suborbitals. That's my big, that's my big uh, situation now. It's an incredibly sad thing. And uh, it's just, I can only say that I think six years is a long time for a close collaboration that we have had for two people so different for two people, quite frankly, with so much ego and so much commitment. I am, <laughs> I am very, very likely the motivation and the inspiration, but I am also the opposite, because that's what makes this so hard. Uh, people who have a lot of passion can be very hard to deal with and to, to collaborate with. There's lots of historic examples of that. And my responsibility is to try to, to overcome uh, these trouble and, uh, and make it work anyway. One part. The world should know me, if, any, if anybody should know me, they should know me as a, as a person who experiments. So I built submarines before, I worked with the rocket project, but I also have a hobby, and that's ballooning. And this is a, this is a hydrogen balloon. I'm making a balloon to test how much, how, how my standards must be for the making of 
envelopes for balloons because ultimately a human could fly in such a thing and it would be the simplest flying machine ever devised. There's a hole here. This is a little bit critical. A single hole in the envelope will make this a total disaster. Okay, I need a strip around it here. This is the hose through which we put in the hydrogen. Could you tighten this up as much as possible, one of you guys? And I'll be doing some taping. Here's another one of these coming on. We just have to be incredibly, unimaginably un tight. Okay? Yeah, as much as you can. Which is good, but not enough. <laughs> That's good to hear. Guys in the ground. All right, you got it? Yeah. Hydrogen comes into the balloon. Actually, the hose should be leading to the top of it. But we have to steer it a little bit so we get the hydrogen up in the bow end of it. And then it'll start lifting off. And we move ourselves underneath it until it's standing in the room, okay. hovering on its hydrostatic effect. We're going to fill the balloon with 10 cubic meters of hydrogen. And the reason for this whole thing is just to find out how tight this balloon envelope is. Okay. Try to keep the envelope away from anything sharp, like the chain going up there. Notice the chain, the chain is dangerous for it. Okay, um, I need to make you aware of the fact that it's full of hydrogen. That means don't smoke, okay? <laughs> you see, if it were to catch fire, it would be in top, in the top of it, and you run away from it. Okay. It burns, it comes slowly down, nothing happens. It's just towering, hanging in the middle of the air in such a beautiful way, with just a little bit plus. And we can let it go all the way up to the ceiling. At this speed, nothing will happen. And then it'll very gradually come down as it loses hydrogen. But it, it'll take some time. I think it's maybe 10 grams, grams plus right now. Of course I want to go with this sort of thing. I want, to, I want a better rope and I want to go up and see what's up there. And it, it, it's, it's what drives me. I mean, it's so exciting. We had tranquility now. There's been a lot of excitement during the blowing it up with, with hydrogen, and I was thinking, are we going to explode? Or... But here it is. We're in tranquility. We have a moment of silence where you can enjoy that we are a little bit beating gravity today. Because the reason Christians left was our collaboration, it puts a special responsibility on me to make this go on uh, and to be humble with this situation and try to inspire people still and have them go on. And this is hard for me. It's been an extremely rough time the last couple of weeks. But uh, there are good forces in Sobozos and we are going to make it.